Hello everyone, this is Chris with ProtectionReviews.com. Today I have the Samsung Galaxy S4 and a case manufacturer that's new to me. I'm always eager to look at products from different case manufacturers. And this one is called Beyond Cell. And we actually have, I think, six different types of cases uh, in front of you right now. This one might be a little bit out of screen. However, we're going to focus mainly on the TriShield case and variants of. So, this is the Gem Shield, the Inflex case that has the clip on the back of it, the Aquaflex case, and here are the Tri Shields. And specifically, we're going to look at the normal Tri Shield and the Tri Shield design. So, we're actually going to put aside the one with the clip right now, and we'll look at that in another video. So, these are the cases that we're left with. Uh, the black one and this white with red fall into the standard uh, case, uh, which is $19.99, and the camouflage one actually runs $24.99. Take a break and take these all out. So I received these cases the other day. I looked at them really briefly and I set them aside. I didn't really think too much of them. Um, then I started to do a little bit more research uh, about the price and uh, what they actually were, uh, comp the materials they were made of and the fit. Let's go ahead and pop this out. Every one is going to come with the uh, plastic screen protector, the lint-free cloth, and an application card to get the bubbles out. And then you're left with this right here. A polycarbonate outside and a silicone inside. Uh, to get it easily on and off, uh, you can pop the, the top off here exposing the silicone portion and then there's the back plastic portion that has a very rubberized grip I mean it is rubber well, it's polycarbonate but it just feels so rubberized uh, so the grip uh, will definitely be there the tri shield and tri shield design these all have uh, these little clips that you can pop out and set your phone up on the stand. Here's the white and red. Very rubberized and um, I was worried that this might pop off uh, when it drops but I had the uh, phone on it and I really don't think it will under most cases. So let's go ahead and put the black on Actually, let's put the white and red on just so we have a little contrast between the layers. Here's our Samsung Galaxy S4. It has a Spigen glass uh, shield on there with the jelly bean right there. Let's pop off the top here. Get our silicone layer. Put our device in inside of it. I'm actually waiting for the device to die it down so I can check the charge rate. Uh, compared to the Qi wireless chargers that I have. Go ahead and align everything up and slip the phone in it. So this does have a Qi wireless receiver in it right now and even though there's a bulge on the back side it, it fits into here with uh, no issues. Go around the device And make sure everything locks into place. Should hear a snap sound. You're going to want to make sure the silicone is up around the sides or it won't snap into place properly. So this kind of reminds me of the ballistic case because it has the huge portions of silicone uh, exposed on the edges. However, what I like about this verse is the ballistic case for the S3 and it looks like the ballistic case for the S4 it doesn't have an area right here that gets in the way of the menu or back I mean you can hit those buttons a little bit higher than you would normally do and still have no issues doesn't interfere with anything on the front your IR blaster has a huge hole right there. Mic, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, silicone cover on it. 
the volume up and volume down give nice crisp feedback you're not gonna work out trying to press it same with the power button there's standoff distance on the back side for the camera and flash there's your speaker phones exposed micro USB connection port seems like this will stick for a while sometimes it's easy to wear these ports out because you use them so much and there's the bottom mic so you can go to bckcase.com and check out all the different variants they have for the Samsung Galaxy S4 this really thick silicone layer should uh, protect the device against damage and you can see right here it's not really popping open came apart just a little bit we do have that glass on it and it does push up on the silicone layer just a little bit when it comes down to wireless charging with the Qi receiver pad that I have in this device most of the thicker cases won't allow it to charge. This is one of the cases where I couldn't get the Galaxy S4 to charge. This is an aftermarket accessory and not the authentic Samsung door with Qi receiver. There are a few other cases from this manufacturer though that were able to charge. clip is easy to take out and put back in just grip it on the right side and push down so overall the case actually looks really nice and for $19.99 it comes close to a lot of the uh, $50 cases such as the OtterBox Defender case so definitely worth checking out you'll probably be able to find some of these at kiosk or smaller uh, cell phone stores as well so for more information about this and more please like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel i have so many cases that i'm going to be giving them away once this video hits a thousand views i'll give some away and once it hits two thousand i'll give the remaining ones away as well I have so many cases so once this video hits a thousand views I'll go ahead and give a case away and then once it hits 2,000 I'll give the remaining uh, cases in this series that I have uh, away so please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel uh, leave a comment and I'll be picking out of that area